Hello YouTube, this is that guy 781 What we're going to be discussing today is WRL SHTF. Do you gear up or do you look subtle? Now, first of all, let me say, farms are going to be handling our uh, completely safety check. Sub 2000, clearly there's nothing in there. There's not, you can, that, that's the, most people don't know, but, but that's how it is folded up. You can see if there's something in there, but there's not. And this gun is completely empty too. So, all right, here we go. In a situation of WROL, SHTF, do you gear up or look subtle? That is the question. Well, depends on how things are and who you are and uh, what you're doing. Now, generally, these are the two philosophies I'm going to go with. If you're by yourself or if you're in a group. When I say a group, I really recommend four or more trained people. Not just, you know, you, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. No. No, that to, to me, that's a, that's a family. When I say a group, I mean people with military training, law enforcement training, correctional officers, um, stuff like that. Those people in your group, paramedics, that type of group. A true group that can sustain themselves in a situation and in a firefight. Now, um, here's going to be the philosophy on if you're one person by yourself, do you gear up or look subtle? Gear up? Mm -mm. Look subtle? Yeah. Why look subtle? Hmm. Well, this is why I feel you should look subtle. Look, per se, uh, we're going we're gonna to go with the cons first. Let's say um, you go get your tactical vest, your AC multi-cam. Um, you know, let's just say you, know, you got your 12 AR magazines here, pistol here or here, however you want to carry it. Um, you have your, uh, you know, you have your long gun or your sling. And you're by yourself. And because you're by yourself and you have all the gear on you that's visible that makes you look more like a target. You may as well put a red X on your back. Because I want to I explain something to people. No matter where you're looking, no matter where I turn my head, that's my 12 o'clock. As far as I'm concerned. Now there's no way I can watch my 12 o'clock and my 6 o'clock at the same time by myself. It just ain't gonna happen. So, if you're by yourself, you're all geared up. Here comes the, uh, the bottom feeders of society who are hiding, you know, away. You walk by, you've got your AR-15, your Glock 17, all your magazines, all your gear, your, your super nice cold steel knives and, you know, all that, all that stuff. You become a target because people are going to want what you got. They're going to be like, I need what that guy has and I can have all the power. And they're probably going to take it from you. If you're outnumbered, they're probably going to take it from you. you same as ways you can only, um, per se, watch your six. Uh, most probably just look at your 12 o'clock. You can only shoot one direction at one time. Group people attack you. You know, you may as well uh, pray to whoever you worship. That's my take on that. And I uh, also want to address something else when it comes to this type of deal. Personally, I don't think it's a good idea to do multi-camera ACU. Even if you were going to go do the whole uh, um, solo survivalist type of deal. For uh, I'd, I'd rather prefer something like this, preferably in black, something simple that doesn't look uh, military-esque or anything like that. And I don't think you should wear ACU or any uh, true military service branch uniform if you're not in that branch of service. Because um, it's disrespectful to, the, to everyone who's ever worn that uniform. Um, straight up. Don't be rocking ACU if you're not a soldier. Period. That, that's just, that is what it is. And I'm pretty sure the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, I'm pretty sure they all feel the same way. Don't be rocking our uniform if you're not, if you're not one. That's just wrong. Second of all, you may be perceived as someone who's going to give great help and people may come to you expecting help and you can't provide it and you have to explain just because I am dressed this way does not make me a soldier. And why are you dressed that way? Second of all, 
you may be perceived as a threat because you are dressed that way in the ACU camo, multi cam, desert tan camo, uh, whatever you whatever you dress in. You may be perceived as a threat to the general populace because you may be perceived as a government figure in a situation where being a government figure is not a good thing. So I don't think that's a good idea, especially if you're by yourself. So now we got the whole solo dolo thing out of the way. Let's move on to group. Now, as I stated, in a group, I recommend train people. Not, you know, you may go to the range a couple times, that's fine. But I recommend training people who have been trained in some form of military or law enforcement training in your group. If you got that type of group, then you are okay, in my opinion, to gear up. As long as you're pulling an operation where you're in an actual group. If you're doing like a scouting operation, which is two of you, you may still want to look subtle. But if it's a large group and you already have your homestead established, I'd say gear up. If it's a large group and you're... Um, moving from one location to another or trying to get to your base camp, I'd say gear up. Only because if it's going to be a big difference between one guy, you know, geared up. Yeah, he looks menacing, but it's only one guy. One is none, two is one. And, uh, yeah, I really don't think that's a good idea if you're by yourself. But if you have, if, if let's say, just, just picture, WRLSHDF. You are uh, in your home. You look out the window, and six to ten men with um, uh, long long guns and uh, pistols who look fairly organized. They look like you know they have a point man. They have somebody watching the six, and you know you're, you're going to be less likely to engage them, bother bother them as long as you're not bothering you. You're probably just going to let them pass and go about their go about their business. Um, I know I'd be more inclined to. But in that situation, that's why if you have a group and you're established, it may be a better idea to gear up. Now, I still don't recommend the whole ACU and all that stuff. Because, um, like I said, it's disrespectful and you don't want to reflect the idea of you being military and you're not. Yeah, I think that'll pretty much do it for the group. Now, um, when I say, uh, I also want to reference this, if I say single and you're by yourself, that is also to assume that uh, even if you have a family, you know, if, you, if it's you, your wife, your kids, you are one. You are not, you, you are one. You are you. You are the man. You are the protector, provider, and all that other good stuff. So you are one person. Um, don't bank on arming your kids and your wife. They may, can, they may be able to shoot, but do they have the mental capacity? to kill one person and move on and kill the other. It's a nasty subject, but let's face it, we all are, uh, what Leonidas say, we're not all meant to be soldiers. And I'm pretty sure, you know, your 12 year old daughter or whatever, is probably not gonna have the kahunas to kill someone to pick up that gun and go kill someone else. That's just what it is. So you being the man in the family, I think you are gonna be the one to, you're just gonna be one, and that's it. And, uh, well, that's it. That's my feel on gearing up or looking subtle. That's that's how I feel about it. If you feel free to comment, some may agree, some may disagree, but it really is what it is when it comes to me. That's my idea. I really don't think I'm going to change my mind. And uh, something to keep in mind: WRL SHTF. If the enemy is in range, so are you. Thanks for watching.